are we here? What are we doing? I'm Paul Germini. This... I'm Patrick Scahill. And what's the purpose behind this? So the purpose behind this is to give uh, a technical overview of what we have done on this April 15th project. And I'd like to walk through each clip mm -hmm. and sort of describe my thinking for it. But before I do that, I have the original write-up I did for this project. Uh, so this is the brainchild of, of Paul here, and he uh, came up with the storyboard and uh, played the, the lead role and did all the editing. I was just a man behind the camera who got all the live action scenes taken care of. Yeah. I'd say that's a pretty good summary. Yeah. So, so what's your Yeah, so here? originally I was thinking that this would be, um, sort of the focus would be as if I was making an AMV and couldn't figure out what to do. Ah. So I would walk around outside and yeah. we'd see all the clips and I would become inspired. So that was what I wrote up, uh, I think like a year before we did this. Oh my goodness. Uh, we shot it over the... I looked at the video. It, yeah. August 25th okay. is the yeah, date I thought it was over so. the summer there. I remember some hot days. And we are in April now, so... It, it, took, it took a long time, but when did you have this in picture lock? When did you, when did you start submitting it? Mm, sometime in February. Okay. So, yeah, six-month turnaround time. Yeah, you know, <laughs> efficient, efficient speed. So, what? We're looking at the video. So this is the very first shot with the clock. I know we filmed some shots in we filmed some shots before it i never liked those early shots okay even the, i know we had some shots of i think it was the gundam mm, yeah we had this gundam opening shot it was okay but i didn't think it really set the stage as well as i had hoped and I think with the with the clock, I think it sets the time. Static well. shots are always sort of a tough sell. We sort of accept them as establishing shots, but they don't really do much more than that. Um, so if you just had had the Gundam and then didn't do anything else with it, it would have felt out of place compared to the rest of your video. But you kind of snuck some things into this shot, if I remember correctly. So Yeah, so the very first shot is actually this... Um, oh, gosh... You will now see me struggle with Adobe Premiere. Yeah. It's actually this character from X-Driver, which I guess is sort of strange because X-Driver is just okay, but... <laughs> uh, but I don't know, but it's a good tone, right? She, she, you yeah. You pull the clip of someone looking at surprise, so she looks at the clock and sort of set the, sets the stakes without with only one single shot. I do like it. And then the immediate next shot is is me. Yeah. So she's like looking at me and then at the time, which is actually when I get up in the morning. So yeah, so that's, that's all right. The audience thinks that we're a man who's rushing late to work and we want him to get there on time. So I think that that helps. We kind of know what we're in the mood for in just one, in just looks like three seconds. We're going to see yeah. some anime. We're going to see some live action. And we're going to see this man start to begin his day. Yeah. And that's, that is the man. That's that is you. I very much dislike this shot. Is this is this I? Is that an anime thing? Yeah, that that's in? from um, that's from Code Geass. That's the Code Geass I. Okay, so why do you dislike this shot? I don't like looking at my face. Oh, uh, okay. So the the shot itself is fine. You just... I yeah, like I definitely, I definitely think you need a shot like this to establish yeah. like who the character is. Mm -hmm. Um. And starting on a close-up of the face is, is really important, too, because it lets us empathize with this character, like, near instantly, something that a wider shot wouldn't be able to do. Yeah, I just don't like looking at yeah. it. As a, as a man who filmed himself in a movie, <laughs> it, you get used to it as time goes on. So what else is here? We've got the opening text from Lane. I don't know if you're from... You're, I, I, yeah. I'm a fan of Lane. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love it a lot. It was hard to cut that out. <laughs> so you couldn't like do a way where you could like focus just on the color like what's the background of it like the blue it's static all white. thing it's all white but there's like a yeah. little it's like it's not white and then immediately red on the text there's like uh, uh, okay. some sort of neutral ground in there yeah that would make it hard so to it was tough to cut out 
Yeah, but my solution is, if it doesn't look good when you cut it out, just make it small. Yeah. <laughs> just make it small. Uh, I like to put most of the most of the anime cutouts in Premiere so I can fiddle with them. But in this case, with the Gyasa, I actually had to put that in After Effects and then export that. So it would be the Gyasa plus the live action footage and then export that into Premiere and then I put the lane text on top. Yes, but that sort of the dynamic link in Adobe's software lets you do that a lot easier than if you were doing something in like Sony Vegas or in a Avid. Sony Vegas, of course, my... Your, your old go-to, but... I'm just sort of old school. Yeah. <laughs> just This was just a little too pro complicated a process, so I had to yeah. get you set up with this and, and a little here. serve as a technical, you know... Technical go advisor. Go-to guy, yeah. So we've got that shot. Um, then we got me getting out of bed. Uh, I think this is one of the first anime things I cut out with the cat. Kiki's cat. And... It's not perfect because you can see I'm like get as I get out of bed the like yeah the cat covers are moving. moving. That'd be a hard one to do. You'd have to do some wiggling in there. The yeah. cat it still would look unnatural cuz the cat other than moving up and down the cat's not reacting to being I mean, there's sort of a reaction at the end when it looks at me. Yeah. So I went with it. I think it's okay. I wish, from a compositional standpoint, that we had found a replacement for your item here, and I wish we had, had something here or just. Yeah, let me point with the mouse. So like, yeah, yeah, stuff here and stuff here. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah that's a good point because you know you have sort of this neutral tone wall, so it's already not something that's gloriously interesting to look at, and everything's so compact in there, um, which could be a thing that we would have gone for, but then we, if we wanted to go for that, where you sort of are too tighten it and sort of scrunch in this corner we would have wanted to pull further away to kind of really showcase that so we're sort of stuck in the middle ground here and didn't accomplish much with this shot what if we had done more we had gotten rid of this space and had more of the bed yeah so that's my that's my yeah. other side maybe we should have and the cat would have fit better yeah you just sort of get tough with like half a window there um and then that that antenna sort of serves as like a weird edge of frame that might have worked out okay but i don't know yeah i think it's tough if because had, yeah like a lamp or a second shelf or like a weird poster thing i don't know Some, something like leaning against the wall like a framed item leaning that you wanted to hang up over here i don't know that's just as i look back i'm like oh, i could have done that shot a little better I, give you more room to play i mean i know you charitably described described that we did some storyboarding yeah but it was really just a list of shots, of shots that we needed so it's yeah. not like i drew a picture of this. <laughs> uh, but i do agree with you yeah stuff because we didn't know you, didn't yeah, know you, didn't, you don't know where yourself. you're gonna put things and stuff so it's tricky so then we walk to the bathroom this is from uh wings over mayonnaise which wings i can mayonnaise <laughs> i can never pronounce it it's like is Royal Space Force wings over like hominaise? <laughs> but it just reminds me of mayonnaise, so oh, yes, that's, that's what, just you call what you call it. Um, Looks like an older show. Yeah, it's done by uh, Gynex, so it was one of their earlier shows. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like this. Sets up the scene of, of my morning, we'll say. Pretty good shot. Again, I wish sort of the back of your. Yeah. Your wall had something here. This is boring in the back. Yeah, it's just not this, a, to the side. Is it's just boring. not a great uh, here. You know, it's a little tougher. Yeah, another door or one of your frame things would have looked nice here. But here's sort of where the eyes drawn because our parallel lines are leading there, and you're coming from there. So once you leave the frame, that's where we're going to be looking. Yeah, and I mean, we do have some characters. Oh, okay, from well, the last so I think that happens, helps then, so. since we're, our, yeah. our eye follows you, and then we have something to look at once you leave. But there is, like, I don't know how long this is, like, a couple frames of just nothing. Just, yeah. So it could have been cut a little earlier, but... Yeah. But what right. You, what you mm. could have done is, like, just, I guess, it looks like you kind of did that here, where you just kind of leave that as a still frame. Yes, so there are a couple still, that, still frames. So that still frame could have been left a little longer. You're so right, I could have dragged it out. Well. So this shot, you had like a lot. I remember you having a lot of debate about what you wanted to put in here. Yeah, because we had 
This is the first time where we filmed some stuff which we actually cut. I don't know if you remember, but we had an like uncomfortable the, close-up the of me ECUs, brushing my teeth. Yeah, of like your morning grooming routines. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. I think what what we're left up here is me just playing with my bald patch, which I think is all we really need. We didn't we didn't set out to make a documentary. Yeah, I so some some people will say that to make a char you want to make a character likable, but I think what you really want to do is make a character interesting, and I think a good way to do that is with sympathy. And so, like having you sort of struggle with this thing on your head, I think allows us to. <laughs> I just go like this for the rest of our. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, allows us to sort of get you know get behind you a lot earlier into this film. I know? agree. I think it's a good. So we don't. Yeah, everything else is just extra. It's just fluff you can cut. And I like how these characters are from Girls Last Tour. I like how they walk off the mirror. I think that's cool. I know, like, the hair is almost interfering with that, but... Yeah, I think it works. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a fun little mirror trick you get to pull there. You'll also notice, I'll zoom in here. This is my 2006. <laughs> I think that was the... Like, the one of two anime Bostons I ever went to. I think that was my first one. Really? Mm -hmm. This is not my first one. No, yeah. I was not there. You weren't even there? Yeah. It was a gift to me. Oh, nice. That's yeah. yeah. And then I went the next year, so. Okay. Setting things up. But it is the oldest, I think, The oldest one you have. So here, um, here's our toast getting shot. Dude, we did some extra stuff with this toe too, didn't we? Or is that am I confusing that with the dinner scene? Where we I got think, a bunch of close-ups. Yeah, I think okay. again with the dinner scene. I believe we shot them back to back for for our purposes. So yeah, it was like all the house stuff first. Yeah, and then, and then we all traveled the other stuff to the outside outer world on scene. Yeah, <laughs> on location. Yeah, yeah, yeah on yeah. location. Uh, I wish we had managed to get the. The toast actually popping out of the toaster. But your toaster is it was non compliant. I describe it as low power. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of popping happening. My toaster doesn't do it either, but I got my toaster from like one of those goodwill stores. Mm. So I'm not surprised. This is also the first time and I did this all in premiere, which maybe wasn't the correct stratagem, uh, where I would I think I can even show it right. Yeah, so I have sections of mm, yeah, so I have sections where I cut myself out, and then I would put that at the top, and then I would put the anime, uh, I guess, below it, so it would cover it. Yeah, you could you could do it in Premiere, as you obviously did. Uh, After Effects would be largely the same thing. You would just have more refined tools. I'm told uh, a good uh, analogy is that Premiere Pro's like a like a lawn mower on a on a, a lawn. You just cut everything really well and efficiently, but if you wanted to get finer detail, like After Effects is like using scissors on the lawn. Mm. You could just go after the blades you just want. I like that analogy. Yeah, I think that's very true. Uh, I know I do have, I did sometimes have difficulties doing it this way. They're like frames out of place. Oh yeah, right that's so here. yeah. Sometimes it's these weird. older Premiere Pros can be a little buggy too. So. So, it is what it is. I mean, that's like a single frame, so... Yeah, your like arm's to supposed caught. to be like covering half of it. I think, yeah, I think it does help that. It's interesting how yeah, that pot is a while. Out, of, out, out of whack, too. <laughs> uh, Never-ending sort of issues. Uh, yeah, I think but, this is the first scene with actually a lot of animation. Yeah, I think you filled out the play. space nicely. Um, you know, our background is busy, so... We didn't. We were going to be distracted out of the way, but you have so much open space. Hiding the anime in there is a good mm. open canvas for you. You'll also notice, right in the corner, I have placed. Oh wow! A portrait. Did not even from see Magnetic that. Rose. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's a it's a project that rewards. <laughs> <for viewing>. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is you'll, you'll start to see more of the mistakes as we go along. <laughs> Tiny issue here. I am leaving the kitchen. My lunchbox ungrabbed. Oh no. Continuity issue. I know. I cut it quick enough so that yeah, it's assumed I grabbed it. But yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, we get the badge wall in the shot, which I really like. 
Um, I don't know if it's immediately obvious they're all convention badges, but I think it'll become obvious soon. And I think that does set our character set our character up. Yeah, if you don't know what they are, you do go in for the punch in so that we can see what's happening and we can also get a little bit of like how well you take care of it so like we get like a sense of how important these things are to you. Um and if you do get it, you know, you just have a fun shot here of those along with all the busyness you have everywhere else. Yeah. And we've also got this sort of weird sideways shot with the characters from Golden Kamui. Yeah, so that's a tough call for you because you had, you know, you, you we just saw them in the other scene. So you've got to think, well, how do I frame them in this shot to make it look like they were in the exact same positions? And if you just had, if you just didn't bend it at all, it might look unnatural when paired with the other shot. So, you know, it was a tough thing you had to do there. I think it works. It's, it's definitely a little strange to look at. Yeah. But yeah, I've gone back and forth on it. I, think I don't, I do I don't like know it. if you have any better choices, so I think that was the way to go. But like that's mm -hmm. something in storyboarding like you would look at and be like, alright, if I'm going to want a thing there, i got to consider what it will look like in this alternate shot. And so when we set up framing for this current shot, you know, then we can say, alright, well let's get that at an angle so we don't have to angle those as much. Yeah. What else in this shot? I've also cut out this couch right here. So that some of the anime can be behind it. <laughs> this is also from Magnetic Rose too, so. Which is one of the shots I think took some of the longest amount of time for me to do. I want to say that took like six or seven hours. And even Ooh, then it's just okay. Because it's so it's so, so long, detailed. it needs to cover Yeah. I don't know, this time and this time. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Because we do the cutaway. Mm -hmm. And then I come back, flip that badge. Um, let me see the struggles of my system, which I think is good. And I mean, this is for Anime Boston, so it made sense to have an Anime Boston badge. Yeah. First appearance of Eye Shield. Yeah, I like the cutouts you use here. I think it adds like a humor. I think this music video does well with, with his little jokes. And like playing on the tropes of anime inside of this live action thing. I totally agree. So. I enjoyed it. Do you remember what episode this is from? I, is it that that soccer episode where they try to convince the kicker to yes, join by, yes. by playing soccer? Yes. Uh, yeah. and then we flip back. Uh, I know we had filmed this as one like continuous shot of yeah. you coming up, flipping the. That's dash, the way you would do it. This was this was a pickup shot we did. That's true. That's yeah. the name of that. All right, so we're out of the badge wall, going for work. Um, I put this poster in the background just to add something. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's something we could have done for other shots too. But yeah, it looks like you figured it out going through. And then we have characters from Knights of Sidonia come in. I don't think this was a great cut out. I don't think it stands up to repeated viewing. There's like some... doesn't quite look perfect, but... Yeah, I see what you're saying there. Is that that Netflix one? It was on Netflix. Okay. I'm no, pretty sure not. it was done by a Japanese company, though. Yeah, Netflix just calls them original yeah. series, but they it just means they have the distribution rights in this country. What's that? Then a very quick shot. This is actually a homage. I don't know if I'm saying that homage. right. Homage. Homage. To, um, if you remember Spirited Away, yeah. there's a scene where she puts her shoes on and she taps it like this. And that's specifically called out in the making of Spirited Away. <laughs> yeah. as like a sign of the... So I had to put that in. Okay. Um, and there's also... We also get some uh, Gunbuster characters in the background, which I like, even though it's only a second. And this Tumbleweed from my ship. That's what that... I thought it was yeah. like a little marble or something. And then, I, then I was trying to think, was there a thing on the floor when we filmed it and I just didn't notice it? Maybe the Tumbleweed should have been bigger. Yeah, but I don't I mean, know. Kind like, of like we're doing it. We're that. doing the close up, right? The the little characters are over there. I, I don't know if a bigger tumbleweed. Maybe serves, I could have put it serves like, a purpose. Like right in the background here. Yeah, that might have helped more if you had mm -hmm. done something like that. I, I just don't know if this is the shot for a tumbleweed because, I, like, what is the what would the tumbleweed be sign signifying? You know, you're not. We're not in like an abandoned space. You're not. I don't know. I don't think we're that lonely yet. So. 
I don't know how well the, the tumbleweed I'm helps getting the bag, you're not liking the tumbleweed. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know if this is the shot where it would work for maximum comedic effect. I agree. That's a good point, but yeah. it's too late. I know. Which one? I know. This is, this is the stuff that this is the learning process. Here's one of the few shots without any anime. Um, the shot of yeah, my we, name. We had to focus on that little band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which. Originally, this would be the shot where my name was introduced. I know back in the badge wall, we flip the badge and we see my uh, name. That's so true. I think it's still useful, but that was the original intent behind this on the, the shot list. I see. That makes more sense now. And then, then we're leaving. Another continuity error here, uh, but we'll get to it. You can see I'm leaving without my baseball hat on, even though I'm wearing it later. Oh. Uh, uh... Yeah, see, this is why you gotta have a script supervisor on set with us, you know? It was just me and you running around all these places. Really guerrilla filmmaking. Trying to do it in, like, four hours. Uh, it's also, this is a character from Noir. I think she just shows up in one episode, but I like... You like the, the waving by? Yeah, I think... I like it, too. There are clips that have to live in the scene for the entirety of the scene. Yeah. And then there are clips, like, the characters from Knights of Sidonia coming in, and this one... Where they can come in from off... Off camera. Yeah. I think it works. And I'm leaving character waving goodbye. Yeah, it's like a I funny think. surprise, too, because we don't... We expect no one... You know, we already have two of these, those two other things entering the frame, so we're not expecting it to come from the same side, so it kind of... We get a little comedic beat from the surprise of it. Yeah. I also leave the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> you just like to waste the electricity. It's yeah. fine. Garage door opening... Another example of a uh, I'll point with the mouse. Another example of a character coming in from off. Uh, should good turn the auto save off. Yeah, the project saves. It's good. It's important. Coming in from off screen. Uh, also from Magnetic Rose. Um, no, this is the third one. Shell shocked. Anywho, it's the distance is a little strange because the character like starts out big and sort of gets small, but I think it's okay. I, they might get a little too small, but yeah, that's another tough one to juggle. <laughs> Just because the space they're covering yeah. isn't that grand. I sped up the garage door opening because it's ridiculously it slow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, here's this is from Tokyo Godfather. Also took forever to cut. Yeah, it looks like a very detailed shot. I, I can see why. Also, sometimes in After Effects cutting. Sometimes it just works, yeah. and sometimes I really fight. This, I really fought. <laughs> but I think yeah. the end result was worth it. I think it looks really good. Uh, Satoshi Kon, the director of Tokyo Godfathers, actually wanted to get make films in live action. But the problem was he couldn't get the editing fast enough, so that's why he went to anime. I didn't know that. And then you, there, that's why he has like shots that last for like two seconds, or like a, like a half a second, and you couldn't do that on film. Hmm. See, this is an educational yeah. So we're leaving. I get another character waving. See, yeah. there, I, I, like it just, I don't know. Like it, it, it feels like a nice theme of like the anime sort of being this constant in your life and this thing that's sort of there for you. And, you know, like we don't, we don't really see that many other humans in the shot and it helps you make sure you're not like this lonely character because you have all this anime in your life. So that is true. I think that helps make it like more fun i also have um from girls last tour their little kitten crad driving <laughs> driving off scene with me behind the uh behind the plant which uh isn't perfect but from a from a distance i think it looks good enough yeah all right so now we get to some of the the driving shots this was a difficult shot to actually work with because of the uh, it's not static, it's... Yeah, you're sort so of you have to deal with that, and you have to keep scale up in, in, in a lot of places, and it, it's yeah. really tricky. I did this once. So we've got some characters from Upvote, I think if I've got that right. And, like, as we approach them, they have to zoom in, and then we have to, they have to go off to the side. Yeah. It's, it's not perfect, but I like that I did one of these shots. Yeah, it, that works. I think that works pretty well, pretty okay there compared to like the bike, which fortunately is fast enough where yeah. it's not as noticeable. And there's there is a road off here, so it's like coming off the yeah, road. Yeah, it's funny. He just like like it's tough because you're getting closer to him, so we should be getting bigger as as he goes across. 
is... But he's going across so fast. Summer of... Summer of something. An anime... And I believe OVA, just about a bike race. I'd highly recommend it. So we've got that shot. We're at the gas station, filling up. I think I actually needed gas this day. I don't think this was in the shot list. Oh, you just want to get Yeah. Which I actually think works really well. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and you can notice I've, I've altered the sign behind, which wasn't my original intent. That's not it. Is this it? That was it. Mm, is there things up above? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like self serve or something like that. Yeah, just self. I liked the idea of hiding all Easter eggs. eggs. Yeah, including an Easter egg to tell you to look out for Easter eggs. Yeah, which I guess is pretty meta. Pretty meta. But, uh, and then we have the Nadesco in the background. Yeah, which, I like I like all the ships and cars on these on these travel yeah. scenes you're able to fit in. I love my successors in Nadesco. So. <laughs> So we're at the gas station. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see, but I have toast in my mouth. Yeah, it's a tough see. It just blends in well with the trees. Yeah, so quick, too. And These then I turn. Tones. Which I think was pretty funny the day we were filming, but got old when I was editing. Yeah. So <laughs> I sort of cut it out. And then we've got this yeah. shot you filmed from shotgun position. Yeah, which was tough to do and keep the camera stable. I think I was able to be mostly successful. Like, if you see this sign in the background on here, yeah, it's, let's see what we got. It's pretty stable, even though we're bouncing around. Yeah, I, you know, the that took the, a lot of work. The, yeah, that, you know, the, the tracking sort of helps you out a lot, too, in these programs. True. So, another advantage to using the Adobe software. There's this weird, I don't think we already missed it. You know, is this like bump up, which I didn't quite see yeah. how we bump. It is what it is. It's tough. It's just, it was going to be a tough thing regardless. We just didn't have a, a hood mount, so it wasn't really a good way for us to get it stable. I think some of these things you only really notice after you spend you know, uh, yeah, your you first hundred hours. <laughs> I think in a shot that lasts like, how long does this shot last? You know, like two seconds? Yeah, you could certainly get away with a lot. Five seconds. You know, you, you definitely figured out all the tricks, you know, like shrinking things, making things quick, having them come in and out. So you found a way around a lot of your problems. You can also see the two little divots in my uh, windshield sort of bother uh, me. Is that what they Yeah. Are? They're not like in They're the class. They're not part of the class. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Here, I believe you suggested this picture, this shot. Yeah. Um, which I really like because we can get the like I, I love weird that. mushroom I love that thing. Joke. I laughed so hard when I saw it uh, in the first one yeah. through. And then some more eye shields. Yeah, look at him Which I think works really good because we're at work. highway speeds, but yeah, he's still. Yeah, that shot. Yeah, I think that's a good gag. Back to driving. At the I beginning. and you like to you like to put stuff in those signs. Yeah, I didn't want to go too crazy. Like I know in the last shot. Uh, I've gone back too far. The last shot, like, I left this uh, as it was, yeah. but I added that on top. Um, but this shot, I wanted to put some anime up in there, which is a good example of After Effects um, actually working perfectly for me. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I just I used the, like, camera tracking. Yeah, that tracking can really do, do some damage, yeah. so, you know, every, every now and then it helps you out. That's good. And also these vehicles there, I think are pretty cool. The motorcycle yeah. looks really good. The, the car looks like it's giving you some trouble. Yeah, the car is giving me trouble. The motorcycle I, you got really good. Yeah, I spent a lot of time, if I can click in, I think I did this all in, mm, yeah, you know, maybe I really should have gotten more, more keyframes in there, but it is yeah. what it is. It's, it can be tough when you just have to, you're just toiling away at this. You kind of look for shortcuts and ways to get it just over with. Yeah. I understand that mentality. The, but hopefully people are looking at the bike. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're in the parking garage. My actual parking garage yeah. in Lowell, Massachusetts. Um, you can see I've also updated this sign. <laughs> One of the shots I'm most proud of is the man reading newspaper 
behind the car. Oh, that's a pretty good hidden gag, yeah. yeah. Which, uh, he sort of really blends in with the, the gray on yeah. the garage. That is tough. I think, I think you will notice him, though. Yeah, he, I think having him move helps. Because it draws your eye there. I do like that quite a bit. Then we're what? We're getting out of the car. This is Pris, by the way. From the who's, previous... Who's better than Usagi? Yeah. Okay. As far as magical girls go, <laughs> Pris. Definitely. Um, this is one of the first shots I did. And I specifically remember yeah. listening to the Steelers play the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> cutting the shot out. And it really turned out that, well. that 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 playoff game? No. Okay. It was during the season. All right. Oh, because that was last year's playoff game, yeah. not the most recent one. And I really like how you can see I've got... I also cut out her shadow. Oh, yeah, Which I yeah. think really is awesome. And I... Yeah, I think it definitely helps sell her there. It also makes my job easier because the shoes sort of mix in with the shadow. It's just easier to cut the whole thing. Yeah. And I added this little bit. They're in like a garage. I added this little bit there. Okay. In retrospect, maybe shouldn't have had it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, because because your your foreground's so barren. I don't think it hurts. It just feels so like if you had a few things lying on the ground around it, mm -hmm. that might have helped better sell it. What else do we have here? We have the walking castle behind us, which I like. Yeah, I I think it's a good mm -hmm. a good background thing to do. Keeps did. the shot interesting. It is a little weird how I've kept this shot for a second after I've left, but... You wanted to let the animations play out, I'm guessing. Which yeah. Which is fine, because it, it's, you know, it's about anime and you. Now I see my, my old computer really struggle on these scenes. Uh, <laughs> there was a belief I had... <laughs> there was a belief I had where... Yeah. Um... Right, so this is an exhibition entry now. Yes. Not accepted into the contest. I was operating under the belief that maybe if I could just cram enough anime in there. Like, I know uh, I showed you the breaks. I don't know if I've showed you the big spreadsheet where I've calculated all you the did, anime you clips. You did, you did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I could You're sort very of... proud of the spreadsheet. Yeah. I, listen, I was on your side here. They should have let this in so, to competition, but... That is part of the reasoning why, for this Why scene. you have all these windows filled up with animes. Yeah. I know originally we had I had only done these three. yeah. Which I think was good. Now I've gone and added a bunch. It might be too much. It might be too much. Because uh, these are all openings for a bunch of shows I liked. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't hate the idea. Uh, I ju it just is putting a lot of strain on your computer. Um, and I know I... So I, it's not the worst thing. There's, and it keeps, keeps your background sort of lively. There's also some work done that I had to cut these signs out and the, yeah. the railing. I had to get my face cut out so that... Um, Chuck, Chuck, we have to, you know, my face has to be in front of these, right? And the tree needs to come in front of that. So, so this is where having it be such a far shot helps you be able yeah. to navigate that a lot more easily and allow you to cheat more. And even then, I still had to put some other clips in just to sell it. Um, but we've skipped too far ahead. I forgot one of my favorite, one of my favorite shots is here, right? Going from the garage. Let's see if I got this. Right, going from the garage and then having the car do a little wipe into uh, the yeah, next shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got, uh, a, you got a few of those in there that I think work really well. I I saw this in an anime and I, it was an immediate, <laughs> an immediate grab. <laughs> and then we have sort of a similar shot um, with me in front of the office. I think this is less successful because yeah, the windows it, are weird. Yeah, it looks a little weirder here. Um, I don't know it, the way the building, the other building is designed, um, and sort of how we frame the shot makes it work more accessible. Yeah, I agree with everything you've said, but I still do think something. I think we need something in these windows, but maybe it wasn't anime openings. Yeah, which are really my go-to, just because they're easy to identify. Hopefully, in like three <laughs> in the three seconds they're on screen. Yeah. Well, I think part of the fun is sort of watching it, and if you know it, like, it's great. And then if you watch it again, you can be like, oh, I didn't realize that was that. So I don't know how much it, you know, I think having the quick little things make make you feel more clever when you do get it. I agree. You know what? So 
And now we're arriving at office, at Cubicle. Um, I really like Spike in the background. Yeah. I think that works quite a bit. Gives, it, gives an interesting dichotomy to your office life. This is from They Were Eleven. Yeah, which is an anime movie. Uh, I want to say from the 80s, but... Yeah. Uh, and maybe it doesn't work there, but I sort of wanted something here. Because uh, you can see on the other side I put a, a poster, but... I sort of wanted something there. Yeah, I can see that. It just dresses up the cubes a little better. And you'll also notice I've changed the name tags <laughs> to anime <laughs> characters. Um, to protect your co-workers' yeah. confidentiality. Uh, and also as a little joke. Yeah, this bike is good. And you can see I've had to cut myself out so yeah. that I can be in front. Look at that. Um, here's my wonderful little plant that is dying. Um, but you'll be happy to know, still in the same state, still mostly alive. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like you adding the little spirit guy to your plant. Yeah, what is it? And then get that little bit of motion at, right at the end of the shot. I think it's a Kodama. Yeah, I don't remember what they're called. And I know they live in the forest, so it makes sense that yeah. they would be there. And this was like, I alluded to in After Effects, sometimes things just really work. This was like a minute to do. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you on the running in the background. It's a little strange because they're kind of tall for these cube walls, but... Yeah, it's a, tough, it's a tough perspective thing, but I, I think just because of the awkward framing of it, I think you get away with it. Mm -hmm. You'll also notice the camera is tracking them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's really cool. I like that. What else do we got? Okay, so here's me aimlessly browsing um, the internet. I'm browsing the anime subreddit. <laughs> that's, a, All right. that's a little Easter egg, yeah. Yeah, and this... Let's see, I'll open this up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You can see I'm looking at fan art of the characters <laughs> on the side. Um, and we also got another little shot coming in from the edge. Yeah. Sort of like with the mirror. Yeah, I like, those, the clock. I like those effects. Just sort of like they're creeping in from everywhere. Yeah, I agree. And I originally, I think I just had like work up on there, on that screen. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, but I figured this is just another opportunity to hide more. To put more things in. Hide more stuff. Then we go to the meeting room. Yeah, I like the, uh, the little what are Yeah, the little the busy signals. Yeah. That, I agree with you, is pretty cool. And it's just, it's just a good good way to, you, you know, you're using anime techniques to sort of sell your silent film. And I think that that helps and it's like a novel thing to do. I think this was also not on our shot list. I think that you just was, saw the conference room yeah. and you wanted to go get it. Yeah, I don't remember too clearly. And it's one of my favorite shots. I like it a lot. Yeah. Like you there, I like uh, the anime girls around you. Yeah, this is uh, Ruri from Martin Successors in the Desco. And she's the uh, she's a little computer person in that show. <laughs> so, okay. One That's of the early shots I cut out. Job. Yeah, yeah. And you'll also notice in the background... I've added in a shout out to uh, Anime Craze used to be uh, like a fan subbing group. Yeah. Gosh, they are long gone from what oh, I can no. tell, but I think it really does fit in with the... No, uh, it, it blends in really well. I would have thought that was just part of the board. Yeah. And what? Now it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. we're, we're close to halfway through on this. So i am got my Vault Tech... Which is in the corner there. I don't know if we can see it, but... <laughs> got my vault lunch lunchbox. Um, you know, I added this in... For, this is from Rosa Versailles, this thing. Yeah. I kind of like it. I'm not sure I like like it a lot for all the work it took to get it. Because <laughs> I have to have it fold with the... Yeah. With the, with the, top with the lid. lid. Yeah. Yeah, that would be tough. But it's all right. Of course, I had to get the Sailor Moon in the background. Sure. That and there's also, I also put that like a pizza thing. Where, where are you looking? Well, this it's, not, it's not there now. Oh. On that screen, it looked like it was like a pizza shape. Thing. This is, yeah, it looks like a uh, pizza. This is like unreadable, but this is actually from the NHK. Welcome to the NHK opening. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's an anime show, yeah. That, yeah, that okay. I figured. 
Uh, now we're outside. I think this is the first time we've seen other people in the shot. That's true. The, the extras we <laughs> that were just bystanders yeah, that these, we, we had to film. These poor people. I have no idea what they're No in. idea. Hopefully they're about to be internet famous. Uh, yeah. I think the ships work really well. I agree, too. And Even though that the these, background. I think, don't really survive close inspection. No, they uh, do not. But... You know, they're like, they're like distance, proper though. scale. They move appropriately. I think it helps that we're not moving the shot. Yeah. Um, There's a lot going on. I think you. I think you padded this pretty well. Yeah. This is from Kino's journey. This is Kino. <laughs> yeah. And man, I really wanted more girls in Panzer <laughs> in my show, but uh, it was hard to find stuff that worked. So yeah. I had that lane shot in the background too. Oh, nice. Which this was. This is from, like, an afternoony, yeah, golden hour sort of thing. So it's you could have, you could have colored it and taken away some of the colors, yellow, yeah, added in some blue that would have balanced it out. But I think it helps that it's in the background, so it doesn't doesn't stand out too much as being out of place. This is one of my favorite shots. Yeah, I, I think you did a good simple. job with this one too. I like how the Yamato comes in and looks awesome, and then. Had to do all the work cutting out these these plants so it wouldn't collide. Yeah. And then I can't remember her name, but she's from Venus Wars. Okay. She's not a very <laughs> historical anime film. Yeah. Not really in the zeitgeist, if you will, but yeah. I really like it. She's like filming it. I think that works quite a bit. Yeah, I think it does. I think you did a good job there with that big ship. Then we've got a couple shots of me walking in lol. See I think this is a this is a better use of the windows. And you could have done something like this at your office. I agree. I mean, we don't ever put anime in the windows again. Anime openings in the windows, yeah. so it's all cutouts. But, and I think, I remember I had a lot of difficulty with this one. Oh, I mean, I remember getting, you showing me that. Getting Nene mm -hmm. in the window. But it works. Uh, got some Sailor Moon. It was like, we sort of dancing thing I found in one of the early episodes, and I thought, well, that's, that's weird, but it'll work. <laughs> it does. It fills up that space nicely over there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We got some contemplation. I'm contemplating the many canals of Lowell and <laughs> the, their the lack of water. Polluted canals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't... It The camping makes sense in a canal, I suppose, yeah. but... Maybe the, not the girls having a picnic in, in the, the canal. muddy canal bay bank. You can see we've got our boy coming up. Oh, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is pretty good until like right near the end. It sort of comes just a little too fast for me. But yeah, I can understand that. Man, we did a lot of Walking in Lowell. Now that I think yeah, about we, we sort of walked around and found places. We got lunch there at a nice like Japanese restaurant. Yeah, I enjoyed lunch. Because like there. the first place we tried to go to was like closed for like two random hours in the middle of the yeah, day. Yeah, the ramen shop. Yes, yes. Yeah, it made yes. so much sense. I do want to go back. Uh, you'll notice the Gundam in the background is the first thing we cut out. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're trying to get that out of what, like eighth MS team. We cut that out, yeah. and then we watched the Patriots beat the Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, looking at this scene now, there might be too much going on. We've I got the cat, we've got the I, bus. I'm not worried the... about scenes being too busy, because the thing that matters most is you on your little walking tour, and we have lines going to where you're going, and you're in the center of the frame, so we're still sort of focused on the subject matter that's important so all the busy stuff just keeps you from being bored mm, that's a good way of looking at it then this shot uh, which started out simply with just them crossing the street yeah and then and then you went over four <laughs> and I, I might have gone a little overboard you'll notice um, I've changed the sign Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I've added in the Gunsmith Cat store sign, which really works quite well. Um, quite it well does, in the background yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I got I got pretty lucky there. I like... <laughs> uh, we've gone way too far. 
This is from Full Metal, Full Metal Panic, one of the new shows. That works. I want to say, yeah, I even altered this church sign. <laughs> yeah, this scene is, is it's dense. A good, it's a good work. It's a good work on the scene, man. The shot. Then we're back. Back in the office. Originally, I remember I mentioned this to you. This was when you told me about the, uh, I can click on, the glory that is the corner pin the corner tool. Pin, yep. Corner pin tool very much made I've this had to project use it very work. much in my projects as well. Man, that is. And originally, I was just going to have Lane show up and keep the, the monitors and some of the other shots yeah. like blank. But then when I realized how easy it was, I sort of just went, <laughs> went crazy with it. Also got my uh, little anime cactus. In yeah, the I like it. I like the little, little, good little joke there. And then you make your triumphant appearance. Uh, well, almost. Not yet. Almost. Not yet. Setting the stage. The little this cameo. Is... So yeah. because we need another actor <laughs> and there are only two of us on set. I like the speech bubble. Yeah, I saw the speech bubble show, or I guess this question bubble show up and it's it's pretty cool. It it gives a I reason for me to get up yeah, before we even it's, see yeah, the next It's a good scene. way to convey information using the tropes of a different genre. There's also, um, I have this shot of feet. Yeah. Which originally I had hoped to put over the entire shot. Mm -hmm. So it'd be the first, it'd be the, I don't even know how to describe it, the top thing. Like the transition? Not even a transition, but you know that scene where the character waved? It'd be yeah. at that level. Oh, uh, okay. But the, the frame, um, what's it called? The resolution? Yeah. Just wasn't right. It uh, wasn't working. Okay. So it's been relegated to a window in the background. Yeah. There you are, in the background. There, yep. I'll zoom in so people can see. <laughs> you can also see how I've changed the posters. <laughs> it is a very anime-friendly workplace. Yeah. Man, we got all and the monitors. Yeah, had, had those, too. Those bars, I think. Yeah, the... Uh, it just helps sell convey these things in our silent medium. Would you call those, like, yelling bars? I'm not sure what the, the term would be. I'm sure TV Tropes has a name for them, but... Exclamation bars? Yeah. Man, you can also see all the... You did, a lot, you, did, you did a lot of work on these monitors, yeah. And you've got, oh, she's from Rosa Versailles. She's one of the main characters I'm blanking. She's the princess, the French princess. Sorry, the, the fans will know. I haven't seen yeah. it. But yeah, but it's, she's it Antoinette. You... That's it. Oh, it's like a realistic anime? Um, it's like a historical anime? It uses characters from history. Okay. I'm not going to call it historical. Do, do they have anime powers or something? No. Okay. No. It's just, yeah, like so a mel it's just like a melodrama. Like, um, like, kind of like the crown kind of thing. I sort of regret bringing it up now because it's a, it's hard to explain <laughs> in a, di in a, uh, in a few seconds. Uh, I feel like this is my suit jacket because you didn't have a suit jacket that day. I don't think I would fit your suit jacket, though. That is also You good know, point. that could be true, though. We don't really get a good look at my arms. Like It could be like, like up to here. Yeah, let's zoom in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. that's definitely your suit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was it. Then you're gone. Did we, did we like add the boss last minute? Is that why I didn't bring a suit jacket? Um, I can't remember. Right. I think it was in the shots, but maybe I think I wanted the suit because it yeah. conveyed the bossness. Okay. And you can see I've actually changed uh, the background. Yeah. So this is sort of a different. Um, this is a different way of approaching it besides the golden comma we way. Yeah. Where I've just I've just changed what's in the background, <laughs> which it's not. It doesn't have the continuity, but I think it's okay. Yeah, I don't. I think that middle shot's long enough and gives you enough new information that you you can reset when you come back here. Yeah, and then I do my weird sort of just just hide 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 down, and then I think this is yeah you know, we do a. This transition took me a ridiculous amount of time. <laughs> no, but it looks so good. It does look awesome, but there's like I remember the first time I saw it because it was like it was like a second or third draft, and I was like, oh wow, I like yeah. that one. That took forever, but man, does it pay off. Then I, I like the idea of being embarrassed and then immediately leaving. <laughs> 
Well, so but it's not immediate. That's where your your wipe transition kind of helps yeah. you. Is it lets time go by better than when you're wandering around and then you're back in the office. More Nadesco Nadesco characters. This is one of the earliest ones I did too. It was that Gundam, yeah, the cat, and then Nadesco. And you can see I have altered the garage name to a character from Last Exile. <laughs> Uh, a lot of Easter eggs. Yeah, it's po it's poetry in motion. <laughs> uh, then we're driving, and this I didn't originally think of doing this, but having the anime sort of pop in and then pop out and pop back in, I think is pretty cool. I, I think like it. it quite yeah, a bit. I think it's a better solution than you know, or like a you know you don't want to have just more cars on the way back. So yeah. It kind of keeps it fresh, um, and like as we get deeper into the movie, it serves more of your like you're going into this pit of anime thought, so it makes it feel more encompassing. And I think it's just a cool shot because I don't think you see shots like this in anime very often. Yeah. And I replaced the shot. I don't know if you remembered, but there's a shot of me like driving onto an exit and like going yeah. up into the highway yeah that shot was ridiculously hard to work with because we know it's just that change in perspective yeah yeah, yeah it, it kills me it's killing me so i put this so you in. just cut it yeah that's fine then this was us stuck in traffic uh, on the way home yeah but a, like weird saturday afternoon traffic in the yeah. four o'clock or something but it definitely helped us capture uh edward yeah which I think maybe comes in a little too early, because she sort of stays around. She just doesn't do much. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right. It might have worked better as a joke as if we thought we were just going to look at this van for a while, and then she just sort of pops up right at the end. Yeah, but I sort of I sort of don't want... I don't want the shot to have no anime for a while. Well, yeah, I guess. But then we have the Zeppelin like come in. Yeah. The Zeppelin could have come in earlier, and we could have we could, our eyes would have been drawn there, and then she would have brought us back over here. Yeah. Later on, and it would have been like a little bit of a gag. I desperately wanted some car to zoom by on the edge. Yeah. I just couldn't find anything that worked, so. But it would have been really cool if we could have got something like that. Yeah. Here's another shot of. That's a little, that's a little tricky to yeah. work with perspective. Because this guy's got to zoom out, basically. Yeah, so fortunately it's quick enough where I think you get away with it. This shot also took forever. Yeah, I bet. Uh, cause getting all these, like, zoom in here, getting all those sparks in, yeah, that took time. That took, <laughs> took a lot of time. Then we're, we're back at the house. I like, so we've had characters come in yeah. off screen. Here's an example of characters going, going off. They started on screen. Yeah, yeah, and then they make room for you to come in. I think it's nice. Yeah. Keeps keeps the foreground interesting while we wait for the car to approach. We can also see Pris in the background drive off in her sweet So bike. she's a magical girl, but also has a motorcycle? Well, I mean, she's a cyberpunk magical girl. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you, you can also notice I've cut the, the headlight. Oh, uh, yeah. Which, uh, let me turn that off real quick so we can see that. I didn't know if I wanted that or not. Looking at it now, it does look a little strange. Yeah, it just ends because the light doesn't disperse properly. Yeah. But I, yeah, I think it, I, I think it makes it look more anime because it has a, like a hard cut. Maybe it's not a great idea, but you get you know, sometimes you gotta stick with your guns. I don't think I would have done it, but I, again, I didn't notice it until we took like a deeper yeah. dive into it. So it is so quick, and there's so much to look at. Yeah. This is from Crusher Jail, by the way. Which I saw while I was making this, yeah. and I, I really like and it. So you stole, you stole I, yeah. from it. We've got our boy the, from Ice Shield, the Ice Shield dog, yeah. yeah. Sitting. And this is also another example of me cutting. Uh, these horns are supposed to like keep going up, but uh, it, actually, uh, it actually just works out. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, coming back from work... Um, Originally, I think I've got this all the way at the end somewhere. No, I guess you don't. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, originally, it was this shot. Uh, yeah, where I come in 
Yeah. Internalize. It was just. I feel like. It wasn't interesting enough. Yeah. Well, we're not really doing the routine thing anymore. So I think we can sort of shortcut a lot of those things, make your so your footage can fit the music. And I like. I like how because this is we got four corners, so it's the same yeah. footage on all the screens. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I, really I, I think it. it helps sell it in an otherwise cluttered shot, having it duplicated everywhere. Um, and again, shows sort of this descent into a more anime world. Yeah. As your day goes on. Although we're near the end. Like we've got about a minute left. Um, immediate cut to me playing visual novels. <laughs> this is Katoa Shoujo, which I like quite a bit. Uh, Little Hearts, I think, another good gag. Yeah. Also, I think for my show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And I've even put uh, a Nadesco poster in the background here. Not not to be found in our original footage. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you recognize this, but this is from War in the Pocket. Oh, yeah, the little yeah, yeah. mech thing driving out. Okay. Originally, I was going to use it in a wider shot. I was going to have it more prominent, yeah. but it didn't cut out very well. That's so how. Yeah. It's in the background. It works there. We've got, um, we spent a ton of time filming me eating and actually ended up not using, like, any of it. <laughs> yeah, it was like a whole dinner preparation segment. Yeah, see, are they all listed as ramen? Yeah, like, we got me placing the ramen cup. What's this? Opening the ramen, waiting on the ramen. We got a microwave shot. We got close shots of me eating ramen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of ramen. This, this sort of sequence for dinner. That... Yeah, we've got a whole video's worth of ramen eating. <laughs> that fortunately we didn't need. Yeah. Just ended up with this shot, which I think works pretty cool. We've got, first of all, this character is literally eating He's ramen. He's enjoying it for dinner, yeah. Yeah, and then we've got Yang here from the new Legend of Galactic Heroes. There is a weird shadow thing going on here, because... Yeah, I see that. Um, Dread, I think it's these sections. There is, in the original cutout, there's like a table leg. Here, I'll zoom in. There's oh, like, yeah. yeah. He, he's got I a table it. leg here. So I had to, like, basically copy other parts of the uh, other parts that. here. And, you know, like, plug it in. It works really well, though. Yeah, it's it's rough, but it works. I can see the different shade now that I'm looking for it, but I never on all the times I've seen it, I never noticed it. Yeah, and you have your little dubs only. Yeah, which is pretty cool. I like that newspaper, but um, yeah, it's not quite working out. Yeah, you can see um, with Premiere, I just have a little section for each each. Each thing I need to cover up and then the actual text. Yeah, most people would do what's called nesting, where you kind of clump yeah. a lot of these few things together just to keep this workspace so clean. But, you know, you're still you're still getting your sea legs. I just like it all in <laughs> here so I can move it. Uh, you also notice I put a picture up here. Oh, wow, I did not notice that. Yeah, from um, Irresponsible Captain Tyler. It's like, they go to a bar, and there's a shot of some of the characters in the bar, and I'm okay. like, that's cool. I just put that there. <laughs> so now I'm watching watching anime, closing the evening out. This you'll recognize from War in the Pocket. Uh, yeah. Uh, originally, uh, we've actually, this is us filming on the TV. Yeah. And you'll see it's got subtitles. There's a rule, you can't have subtitles, from the original right. release. Oh. Yeah, from the AMV. The, this is when I still mistakenly believed <laughs> that you were I was be part of the contest. Uh, so I ended up taking the same footage and, and plugging it on, on top. top of it. I think it helps better because, as you saw, there's like some yeah. flickering that happens. The contrast. By the way that the TV lights up from the back. Um, yeah, I have a better... So that's why usually people don't film TV live. Yeah. I mean, see, it's just a tiny bit bigger now that I look at it. Yeah. Uh, so we've got that. We've also got a uh, little Ghost in the Shell motorbike cruising on that edge. <laughs> and then we cut to cut to me back in my Jam Jams watching that anime. Uh, I really like, 
I can't remember the name. That's from Spirited Away. A mouse. Working on his, his, his yarn. Yeah, the mouse is a good little gag. I wish... I, I only thought about this after it was all done, but I wish we put in my previous AMV trophy here. I think that would have been a really uh, good game. I yeah, know, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just right. forgot about it. Now it's, now it's too late. Back to the TV. Got my Legend of Galactic Heroes in. Yeah. <laughs> it's a busy night. Yeah. Then, then what? The TV turns off. Yeah, this is... I think I've got that here. Turn these off briefly. Is it above? Maybe I... Yeah. I got Lane come in, because it sort of makes sense that, like, she would change the TV. Yeah. And then there's a bunch of... Um, yeah. So originally we just shut the TV off, and as you can see, we're... Or clearly in, in the, the background. in the background. Yeah, classic. So I had to do I had to do something. Uh, so I just put a bunch of anime openings in. It's okay. I don't know. I think we could have done something better. You probably but... just could have cut away quicker once the TV went out. Yeah, I guess the problem is if I did do that now, I've got like a a couple second hole. I'm not sure what we okay. would put in there. I see. But that's... I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if only that lane clip could have held out longer. Maybe? But I guess we did do... Um, trying to think what... Yeah, we tried to capture, like, steam coming out of the bathroom. Yeah. But that just was we'll not... a hard thing to cut out. Yeah, it was not working. So, maybe that could have worked. I could have given that another shot, We but... needed more lighting to reflect off the steam, too, to showcase it, so... Would have been a hard thing. Yeah. So we got that, and then, then it's the calendar shot, um, which we had to get a few times. Yeah, I think this is this this we filmed the day of. I like this. Right, you know the whole thing is named April fifteenth. Yeah. So there we go. And let me tell you, it's hard to find a calendar for two thousand nineteen <laughs> in August of two thousand eighteen. <laughs> so I'm glad I did find it. I like how it's near the end. I think I think it's pretty obvious that you don't need this. You don't need to see the actual calendar, but I think it I think it, it works. It puts the message home at yeah, the Yeah, I think it I think it just helps like now we see like the thesis of what we've been watching and we kind of get a better picture of, you know, why you're having the day that you're having. Yeah, and then just me going to bed. You go to bed no anime in this one. No anime in this one, which Sometimes I think I should have put something in it, like yeah. maybe in the background. It's tough because we had to do the color change too. Yeah, because the lighting. So struggle, struggle in that color change. It's all right. Like the the the, the main point has sort of been made once you cross the date off the calendar, so it's not the worst. That yeah. we sit, we no, we're sort of back in reality now, or, or we get the the reality is now more objective. Like we are now seeing what is happening. And then we pan to April 19th, AB. Yep. Which, looking at it again, I wish I had drawn an arrow to show that it was like a weekend thing. I know everyone's going to get it, but like, I'd like to draw an arrow when it's... Yeah, I don't think it hurts then, you that much. I think, you, I think you're all right. Then we're on black. We got a, a couple yeah. more seconds. Um, I just realized now we haven't talked about the song at all. Yeah, so why did you pick this song? Um, I don't really have a strong... What is, what is this song? This is All This Time by Jonathan Colton. Okay. And um, it came out when I was unemployed, and I listened to it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in my mind, and I like I like how this song is sort of melancholy. Yeah. Which I think fits the piece. And it's, it's a neat song. Um, sort of about trying to escape and not escaping. Yeah, so I, I didn't listen to the words too much, but like the, the little beats and like the little like glitch kind of soft electronica, I think sort of help tonally with your piece. Yeah, and and give it, you know, open the door for the sci-fi element to, or this anime element to come in. We're at 4 4, and that's it. Amen. We can look at. So what do you Any think? Any anime you regret not putting in? Um ooh. There's about, I did list it out, there's like 
80 or something unique animes yeah. in this. I think I hit just about everything I wanted to. Um, certainly, uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but, right, there's 107 different anime cutouts we've got. Yeah. And then there's... All, all the full clips. Yeah, there's like 41 openings. Mm, okay. Some of these openings aren't in there. Okay. So there's at least 35. Yeah. Yeah, some of them aren't aren't listed in here because I used After Effects to add them. And then there's like some clips I've just literally put in. So, I mean, we covered a lot of ground. Yeah. What did you think overall in this project? What did you think when I told you we would be pursuing an idea like I this? Liked, I liked the idea, you know, because after... You know, you had a, a really good music video a year or two ago, and then it lost to sort of like this homage to anime throughout the decades. And I thought it was just sort of smaltzy, and it was just like clips just shown, and then there was like a song, whatever. And and it was just like they were grouped up by decade, and it was like, hey, remember this? Remember this? Remember this? Nostalgia. And it just was less interesting, but you had sort of a take on that idea that the audiences seemed to like. But like had an actual story to go with it, and so I thought that that was cool and worth pursuing. I thought you were going to get better treatment than you ended up getting. Well, I'd say I probably think you're a little salty because that that AMV timeless did not have Gundam in it. So it didn't have, no, I just didn't. No, I was just it was just like clips, and it just didn't. It was just like I just like people when people try to market nostalgia. It sort of bothers me because it's just such this cheap, easy thing to do to prey on people's desire to return to a less complicated childhood and I just don't like that sort of philosophy and, and marketing and branding so you know that was sort of a I just you had worked hard and you actually had a very interesting story and your song worked well with it and I thought it was just more interesting to watch but I can respect your opinion that was my thought behind that where I just wasn't wasn't a fan of it and so when I won best picture I thought well it just feels like an easy one for audiences to pick but and then you were going to do that but also have the interesting story behind it and then also tie it back to anime Boston itself so I just thought you would be like a shoe in and then they had yeah. rules and you didn't get in it was too weird yeah. and I mean and that's this, that. this this is very different yeah. than pretty much anything I've seen so it's hard to categorize it's, yeah, it's unique. Yeah, I know. And you know, sometimes artists aren't appreciated it's, in their lifetime. Time. <laughs> so I think we just need a little more time for this piece. Well, I hope that when you go, people will see it and then find you and say, "Hey, you were great in that music video." I've grown a disguise yeah. <laughs> so that I'm unrecognized. <laughs> I'll be going incognito. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm happy with how this turned out. I'm disappointed it wasn't accepted, but you know. Yeah. It's different. I, I, I understand their reasoning. Yeah. Um, I did spend a lot of time on you it. You did spend so much time. We it filmed was, in August. It was a whole football season's worth of It time. was a whole football season's yeah. worth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> filmed in August, finished in February. Yeah, that's a football season. Pounding it. it out every night. I mean, we can see all the all the stuff. All the work. Even yeah. all the... There's so many clips. Like, all these cutouts. An immense amount of time. Yeah, so that's it. Any uh, any calls on the phones? Jiminy got anything? Or... Yeah, <laughs> the intern Jiminy. Uh, no, he's, we, we're not doing this live, so well, it's unfortunate. That's it. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Bye.